Hey there folks, Sparrows here, coach of the New England Evolutions, your team in the EWT. We are in week two up against the Bolin Bovines, coached by Dr. Slay King. And I just want to say coming up out of this, I watched a few of Slay King's uh, matches and battles and just the content he does on his channel. And I have to say, he's going to be a very hard competitor. Uh, he is one of those players that just knows the game and the ins and outs of it very, very well. And he's super well read. And as a team that's coming back after a year and a half long hiatus, uh, I think it's going to be tough for us, uh, particularly because I don't think we can trick him. And uh, I love my tricks. I love my bags of tricks. But we just need to play smart and just find a way to outplay him straight up. No gimmicks. Uh, so that's going to be, it's definitely going to be a challenge this week. But I'm up, I'm up for it. So the big thing on his team, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of heavy hitters. Um, he's got a big ground weakness, but the thing that I, my, my main goal is to sweep with Excadrill. Excadrill is going to be a sand rush life orb Excadrill. Uh, but in order to do that, I need to position myself, um, uh, by getting rid of sticky webs. Cause I'm guessing he's going to bring a Raquinid with sticky webs. So we're bringing defog on our Noivern. Uh, Noivern is, I believe life orb. Yeah. So we can we can do some damage, but we also have some utility with our Noivern. Uh, Focus Blast is, of course, for Copper Ja. We have a team builder. You can watch the team builder for the intricacies of what does what. Uh, then we have our Hitmon on top. Hit on top is a Intimidate user. Uh, we are gonna hope to take out his Terrakion, maybe his Copper Ja, and then we can maybe even if we see Charizard or Manda Buzz, Stone Edge hopefully will come in use and then we have rapid spin because i really don't want those webs uh then we have a assault fest tatar uh this is this will take a, pretty much any hit from uh his special end um especially his whimsicott which i'm hoping to bait into a kill with heavy slam then we have uh a choice scarf i believe yeah choice scarf technician roserade uh, and Weather Ball will be able to hit his uh, Araquanid, his Charizard, his Mandibuzz. And then Leaf Storm is for, hopefully, if his Terrakion, for whatever reason, isn't Scarfed, we can kill his Terrakion with Leaf Storm. I really just want to take out Terrakion, if you can't tell. And we have Sledge Bomb for Whimsicott. And here's our star player. Our star player is a Life Orb, Escadrill. Uh, we got Shadow Claw in case he wants to bring Claydol or Rotom, which both have Levitate, um, kind of trying to force us into Mold Breaker. But I don't, I honestly don't think he'd bring either of them. I don't think they have a good matchup on my team, despite the fact that they have Levitate. Uh, and then yeah, Earthquake, Iron Head, Rock Slide, all these moves take take down his whole team. I just need to position Beifong into uh, the best possible win conditions. And uh, last but not least, we have Clover. This is a physically defensive Clover. Um, it can pretty much... I don't know why people don't like Gol Golisabod. This thing, its defense is crazy. I know it gets ejected, but ejected is good for momentum. It takes a hit from Copper Aja, and it can, it can kill with close combat. Um, so that's what we got close combat for. Uh, we also can kill Terrakion with Aqua Jet. We want to take down Whimsicott with Leech Life. Let's do it. We also have Knock Off in case, you know, he wants to bring something that we want to knock their items off of. So without further ado, I believe that's everyone. Yeah, it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this match. And uh, let's go. Hey there, guys. Sparrow's here. There was a quick hiccup uh, during the live comm, so I'm going to be doing a quick post-comm uh, just for this first minute or so. My audio program crapped out on me. Uh, and so like the first half of this battle is me trying to, it's not the first half, the first minute of this battle is me trying to reboot my audio program while also dealing with uh, what he brings. So his team is actually kind of surprising for me. Looks like he's going Trick Room with the Claydol and the Cropper Raja. I, we don't see the Sticky Webs and we don't see the Whimsicott, which is crazy to me. Uh, since there's no Raquinid for his lead, we're going to lead with Sirocco and, uh, anticipating rather his clay doll or his manda buzz um, maybe rotom if rotom wants to do some tricks who knows uh, but i'm imagining we're gonna probably see clay doll or manda buzz 
uh, cleared all the setup some stealth rocks or random buzz to do some u-turning or knockoffing so and we just got to wait through this black screen which i guess it seems shorter when you're actually playing there we go here we are yeah so he does lead with his mandibuzz and we do lead with our titar sirocco here uh this is about the point where i realize you can see the lights flickering on my screen on my face this is about the point where i realize that my audio program crashed so i am now multitasking here trying to get the audio up and also figuring out how to deal with this mandibuzz and it it's about 40 more seconds, I believe, of me sort of doing this multitasking. Where we're going to go for a stone edge here, see how much damage it does against Mandibuzz. Uh, and yeah, my, as you're about to see, my mind was kind of split because of the audio program here. So I think the next few... This definitely threw us off our momentum, uh, but it, not too badly, and I think we do make a good recovery. Anyways, the audio is about to come back, so bye! Hello, there we are. I'm in now. Okay. We're just going to go for the the safe stone edge. Uh, I'm not really sure what our Tyranitar does without the, his Whimsicott. <sighs> Sorry, my audio wasn't recording for whatever reason. He's going for a Toxic. Uh, we're going to go for the stone edge. Let's see if it, we connect. Uh, he's going to see that we probably aren't... Full blown. Oh man, that does nice damage though. That does really nice damage. Um, do I think he's gonna stay in? <sighs> Oof. Let's see. What does he have for Pokemon again? I can imagine him going into the Copperja. I can see him. Ooh, this is a tough choice for him. I got 30 seconds to make a decision. I, I think we gotta just go for another Stone Edge. Honestly, even if he is going into Copper Ja. Oh, is he faster? He should be faster. Are we speed tied? I thought I I got the hit off first. All right. So either I imagined that we went first last round. Uh, yeah. So he's just gonna he's gonna roost again, which is fine. Uh, what do I want to do against this guy? I think we're gonna go in Karama. Keep ourselves healthy from that toxic. Yeah, he's just gonna wrist around. Now I think he thinks. I mean, he could think I'm going for a dazzling gleam, um, or a weather ball. He he's smart enough to know that I'm packing weather ball. Um, I'm interested to see what he swaps into. I really am. I think I'm gonna double. Is that the best play? Yeah, let's double into Nightwing. Let's see what what he wants to go into. For some reason, I thought Tyranitar went went before his Mandibuzz, uh, but that doesn't make sense. Especially since I don't think we have any speed investment, and I'm pretty sure Tyranitar is much slower than Mandibuzz. So I think I just had a brain fart. Let's see what he goes into. He stays in. Okay. Well, we lose our life orb, but that's not that big of a deal. I kind of wish we stayed in because we would have uh, gotten more mileage out of the 
losing the scarf on Roserade. Oh, this is rough. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go for the flinch. See what he wants to do. Oh, that was a crit. This thing is especially bulky. We do get the flinch, uh, which is nice. I'm gonna go for, I'm just gonna drop a safe Draco. Hopefully it's enough to pick up a kill. Uh, do we wanna check that real quick? Mandibuzz, bulky. Versus Noivern, Nightwing, uh, Draco, also level 50. Uh, Draco does about 50. Um, slash does 30. I think that looks about right. We're gonna go for the Draco. That was with a crit too, yeah. I think he walls us here. Yeah, that's a wall. Fully walled. I mean, he can just roost, the, or roost around us. Ugh, that's frustrating. Okay. Um... What do we got for this guy? And we can air slash again. Just put some pressure on him. I have a feeling he's gonna go for a foul play or... Okay, he's just kind of sitting there. Yeah, he's just gonna roost around. Okay. Now, are we going to see a knockoff or are we going to see a toxic? Is he bringing rocks? Yeah, I wish we had U turn. I do, 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 do wish. We had U-turn. I also wish we had uh, Roost instead of Draco. Okay. Um, do I need my Assault Vest? I don't need my Assault Vest. I think he's going to go knock off, though. Um, but I want to keep my Scarf, actually. There's nothing we can do here. He knows we got to swap. He's going to go for the knockoff. Goes for Toxic. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna see the knockoff on him. Does he really wall me that hard? I think Beifeng will probably take care of this thing. Does this thing wall me that hard? No way. That's ridiculous. Do I get completely walled by a Amanda Buzz? All right, so let's see how much Tyranitar does. Stone Age still is the play. We're gonna have to crunch down, I think. Oh, 
man. Yeah, I think we have to just go for crunches. Is that real? I think that's real. We need to get a defense drop on this thing. Crunch, crunch is a defense drop, right? Or is it just... I should actually check that. It's been a while. Maybe I'm thinking of Bite. Yeah, it lowers defense target. Okay. He's just gonna he's just gonna roost around us. We need to go into Karama here. We got maybe a shot at beating this thing. He's just gonna roost around us. Ugh. How many turns of Sandstorm do we have? One more turn of Sandstorm. So this isn't even gonna be enough. We can go for Sludge Bomb. I think that might be the better play. Try to get some Toxic on this. Oh! Oh, yeah, we're... We're in a rough, rough, rough position here. Okay. Taking care of that mana buzz is key. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. We lose some mana buzz. I think he can. He can technically just win with the mana buzz. We have to get lucky with a crit. Puts rocks up. That's fine. I think we're just gonna go close combat. Oh, you know what? He has the Rotom, doesn't he? Yeah, he has the Rotom. Oh, he's gonna go into this thing. Okay, uh, how do we take care of... Usually Sirocco would be what we'd bring in here, but we don't have the Assault Vest anymore, and I need the Sand for Beifong to do Beifong's job. Um, looking at... Clover isn't the best, so I can get a... I don't know if we'll survive, but we can get a swap here. Uh, unless he goes for overdrive. If he goes for overdrive, that's a dead Golisopod. Go Essentially, we're getting 6 out here at this point. I need. I don't have a way to get around that mana buzz. Boom burst. This, we should live this. Yeah, perfect. I think we just go. Hey, phone. 
Okay, let's do a quick calc. Excadrill. So many Excadrill sets. Push her down. All right, Toxicity is the is the name. He likes to run specs. So we know that. Um, I think, I feel like he's gonna wanna preserve this. We're gonna go for the Shadow Claw. Two Shadow Claws kill. And yeah, let's see if we get the prediction. Effigy is, is Claydol. Sweet. We show that we're Life Orb. We probably should have gone done an Iron Head after that. We're gonna see the uh, Mandibuzz come out. Okay, so no Trick Room. Not that I think he needs it. He just needs the Mandibuzz. We need a crit on the Mandibuzz. There's nothing we can do except just hope we can get around that Mandibuzz. Uh... All right, how do we get around the, this Mandibuzz? Honestly, we just have to bring it low enough when we die of Toxic that we can come in and get a Revenge kill. That's the, that's the only thing we can do against this thing. I am not afraid of Lancaster. Uh, Turvy's at full health. If he wants a sub, we have Noivern for that. He knows he gets a, he gets a switch with it. Um, I probably could have gone into Golisopod if I really wanted to just sack it. What does Golisopod take care of? No. It can take care of the Copper Ja. Oh, we also have rocks on our side, which we should probably find a way to get rid of. Stone Edge, I don't think we do much with Stone Edge. Um, do we go for our own Stone Edge here, predicting the Rotom? I really want to go for Rabid Spin. I think he's going to send out Rotom. We're going to double. Let's go into Nightwing. Defog on this. Withdraws Lancaster. Goes into Bosch. Is that the Rotom? Yep. Goes in the Rotom. I'm gonna defog. If he takes down Noivern, it's fine. Uh, I don't really see Noivern being a win condition for us. It might be useful to take down that Toxicity. Um, kind of Excadrill has to do everything. We have to get that Mana Buzz low enough with our Roserade, and then Excadrill's gotta do the, do the rest. Sweet. Goes into Old World, we'll get our free Defog off. Up, oh, did we disconnect? Whew! 
All right. What are we going to see here? Kind of wish I brought rocks from my side. This mana buzz is a pain. Can't have it coming in at full health. It is the song and dance again. Yeah, really? I just think it's Nightwing. Um, we we got to get some flinches and force him to just go aggressive against Nightwing. If we can live a knockoff, which I think we can. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to... I don't really like this play, but it's the best thing we can do right now. Is just trying to flinch stall him. Force him to go aggressive. We get a free swap into. I mean, I could, I could scare him with Beifong. That's what I'm gonna do. I haven't shown Rock Slide yet. I'm running Rock Slide uh, for more consistent damage. We're gonna go Iron Head. This mana buzz is a pain! I don't know how to get around it! I really don't! Oh, he stays in. And we get the flinch. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's rough. How much damage does that do? I think we just go for rock slide on it. I'm sorry about that flinch. That's rough. But that's also why you run Iron Head, you know? And you get that, you get, get some sort of bonus out of going so quickly. Yeah, he's gonna withdraw. Now let's see how much damage this up. Oh, he avoids completely. Completely. So now he just needs to get his Amanda Buzz in. Uh, I'm, I'm sure, I'm 100% positive he built this thing to take a, a hit from... Uh, Excadrill. So we're going to go into Goliathopod here. Power Whip does nothing to me! Oh, I have like three seconds. They're running out of time? I clicked that just quickly because it said I had two seconds left. I don't know why that was 
the case. I feel like we just started. Um, I, that was probably going to cost us the game. Because, um, yeah, we could have gotten him for close combat there and taken him out. I'm not sure... Are we at end of timer already? No. Okay, that was just... It was what it was. I really wish we clicked close combat. Really? Well, okay then. What are you going to do about it? That's the game. Oh man. It's really uh, upsetting. Ugh. What are you going to do about it? See you guys next week.